lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to look at how you can easily transfer Smart Vinyl. I know lots of people have been having issues with this. It's all in the technique, I'm going to show you how to do it. Before we get into this, please remember to subscribe. If you like the tutorial then obviously hit the thumbs up. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Come and follow me on Instagram and also on Facebook as well because I do twice weekly lives over there. Right, let's get into this. I've got a design from Design Bundles. I don't need to do a huge amount to it. All I am going to do is just attach it together because they're currently two separate pieces and I want them to keep as they are here. So I'm going to attach. I need to make sure that if I want to use my Smart Vinyl without a mat, that I am connected to the Joy, so I'm in my Joy interface. If I want to use Smart Vinyl or any Smart Material on my Maker or my Air, I can, but I will need to use a mat. So the matless technology with Smart materials you can only use in the joy but you can use your smart materials in any of the other machines you'll just need a mat we can select make it it's going to ask me do i want to work with a mat or without a mat so i am working without a mat we can select continue because we have selected without a mat that means we can only select smart materials we're using smart vinyl permanent today I can now go and load my machine up. So I've got some of the Smart Vinyl Permanent here. This is the Beachside Sampler. There are some beautiful colours in here. As you can see, there's some beautiful colours in this sampler. Now the back of Smart Vinyl is more rigid and it's thicker. Fantastic for weeding. I mean, weeding the Smart Vinyl is just superb but when it comes to transferring onto your transfer tape it can feel like it's really tricky that's because obviously the backing is thicker and it's more rigid so it feels like it doesn't want to come away from that backing there is a trick to this you do not need to use strong grip with the permanent smart vinyl you can use standard grip transfer tape and paper transfer tape so we are using the Smart Vinyl without a mat, so I'm just going to feed it into Joy. Joy will check we have got enough product to be able to make our cut. And then I can select cut in my computer screen or on my app because of course Joy has no buttons. Once I've selected, Joy will then start cutting for me. Once the cut is complete, I can then select unload again on my computer screen or in my app and Joy will unload for me. So just a quick tip, I always remove my middle pieces from my vinyl first before I remove the outer area. Not so much on a design like this, but if I'm working with a really small design or really fiddly text, if I remove the outer area first and then the middle pieces, the whole outer can move around. Again, not so much on smart vinyl, but on normal vinyl. So get into the habit of removing the inner pieces first and it will make your life a lot easier. We can then come in and remove the rest of our outer vinyl. I absolutely love weeding Smart Vinyl. It weeds beautifully, it really does. You may need to give it a little bit of a helping hand here and there, but as you can see, it just pulls away and you haven't got incessant pull up either because that backing is a lot more rigid. 
So we're going to use a Cricut Standard Grip Transfer Tape to start with. I'm going to split my design in half. We're going to use Standard Transfer Tape for one part and then we're going to use a Paper Transfer Tape for the other. You want to remove the transfer tape from its backing. Now some people feel that the Standard Grip Transfer Tape is a little bit too sticky. I don't normally have problems with it, but I always check it a few times and if I feel it's overly sticky, then I will de-stick it using either a non-furry cardigan or my jeans or leggings or just some cotton fabric. So I will just place my transfer tape onto my fabric item, press it down, pull it up once, have a look at it, make sure it's not overly fluffy give it a quick feel and then normally I'll go in with a second. This can then be reused over and over again. Place the transfer tape down onto the Smart Vinyl. You can use a scraper, the extra large scraper or the Cricut brayer to burnish the front of your transfer tape. Turn your vinyl over and give it a scrape from the back as well. So if we come in and just pull our backing away from our transfer tape, you'll see that it hasn't adhered to our transfer tape. It needs a little bit of help because that backing is so rigid. So really nice and simple, when you get to the first bit, you're going to bend your backing over and crease it. And you're going to push down. As you push down, you're going to roll your backing away and this will help remove your vinyl from the backing onto the transfer tape. Same process throughout. So we've got another piece here. We're going to bend, push and roll back. Every time you get to an area that hasn't stuck down, you're going to bend back, push and roll. And you'll find that it's just that initial bit and then the rest will come along nicely. And that's really all there is to it. It's not some big secret. It's not anything to do with the transfer tape. It's your process. So you're just going to bend the backing back, give it a nice crease, push down and then roll. If you start to get in trouble with all the excess backing, which I do, I really struggle with it because it's quite thick, I'll come in with a pair of scissors and just snip that excess away and it means that I'm not dealing with that rigid backing in my hands. I can then continue that process of pushing back, pushing down and then rolling. It's really not that difficult it kind of becomes second nature and depending on the design you can do it quite quickly once you become used to that motion of pulling back pushing down and rolling so i've got some paper transfer tape here this is basically just big rolls of masking tape great for if you're going to put your vinyl onto notebooks or anything of a more delicate nature it obviously has a lot less stick than standard transfer tape, but I want to show you that you can transfer the Smart Vinyl easily. As always, give it a scrape from the front and then on the back. You may want to give it a few extra scrapes, but you don't need to go in heavy handed. Then it's exactly the same process with the Smart Vinyl. You're going to bend the backing backwards and over push down and then roll and you're just going to keep doing that whenever it needs it so bend backwards push down and then roll
we can then come in and transfer from our transfer tape to our blank in this case it's a wood block from made by tree give it a good scrape and then I always roll my transfer tape back. I find this is better than pulling it back because if you're pulling it up, you're almost urging the vinyl to come up as well. So give it a roll. So just roll it back at a bit of an angle and it will make life easier. If you've got any bits that want to come up, just press them down with your finger uh, or use your scraper. But rolling is a better technique than pulling. Exactly the same with the paper transfer tape. Give it a scrape and then you're going to roll it backwards. So just kind of pull it back and then just roll it away. Finally, you can come in with your Cricut brayer and just really give that a roll and make sure that your vinyl is nice and adhered to your blank. As always, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you've got any comments or questions, then please do uh, add them below. I always read through them and I will get back to you. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And of course, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. As I said at the start, I am doing two lives a week over on Facebook. So come and join me over there as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.